Here, what happens if I put it right here? Mm, yeah, that's better. How are you doing today? Welcome back to Life with Belsif in the R10 engine installation program. For the last video, I got kind of lazy and only used one camera, and it really showed. Leave your comments down below if you think I agree with me or not, because you don't see as much as when I use two cameras. It's a lot more to do for editing, but it's worth it by a long shot. So, on today's video, I end up getting a few things here. Go figure. As you can see on this camera, I got the actual oil cover unit for the valve covers because as you see on these valve covers, it, uh, it takes a special one. Oh, just so you know, I did get my headers back on yesterday. I didn't record it because I didn't record it. I apologize. I also made a custom bracket for that and I made, painted this blue. See, this, is, this block is a newer style block, but the heads are older style heads. The engine that come out of this truck was a newer style of heads with a center bolt, if you know what I'm talking about. So there's actually a hole on the head where you bolt that to it. So there wasn't on this one, so I actually just bolted it to the header. So there you go, Captain. There's that other header. Look how good that looks. Look at this. All this is in and hooked up. I got this on and everything. Oh man, we're just we're we're getting there. We are real close, Captain. Let's get this thing open and make sure it fits in the hole. I put the media mod back on my head. Uh, back on this GoPro 9, there's a media mod with a different microphone. So I'm curious to see if the mic sounds different or not. But we'll have to find out. I tell you one thing, I sure feel the weight difference. Let me know if you're a YouTuber and what one you use. Or don't. So anyways, this is a nice little unit here. This is a billet aluminum. Look at that. Just polished to hell. Oh yeah, that thing looks mint. But it should go right here beside the other Chevy. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, we might have to put some lube on that, Jim. Oh, I think we're gonna have to. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, let's get some lube on that thing. That's like pushing into a dry thingamabobber, if you know what I'm saying. You don't wanna be pushing into a dry thingamabobber. It's not how we roll, Captain. Here we go, ready? Oh, goes right in when you lube it. Just like everything else. Look at that. Tell me that don't look mint. Friggin' Ray looks mint. Better for 40, 60 bucks or whatever the hell it was. So I got the collector bolts today from good old PV Mart. So we got six of them, grade eight bolts. So we make sure the headers don't fall off. I'm waiting for a collector gasket, so we can't do that today. I also got myself some stainless steel doodads for the doodad for this thing. So we're gonna run stainless steel on these like so, and we can uh, slap that on temporarily. There we go, just like that. Now, as you know, I ordered new flex hose and stupid me, I ordered half inch instead of five eighths for the other one. So I have to send that one back because it's not gonna work. But hopefully this hose goes into this wrap. I'm thinking it will. Oh yeah, it will. Feels good too. Oh yeah, it goes right in, Jim. All right, we need it to go right in, Jim. It's close, so you wouldn't want her any smaller. Oh, especially on silicone. This silicone hose, it doesn't want to go on too easy. Oh God, here we go again. Wiggle, wiggle, wait, wiggle, wiggle. Here, what happens if I put it right here? Mm, yeah, that's better. Oh, fuck yeah. Find some kind of hole mechanism for this. Frank, get on there for fuck's sakes. Doesn't want to slide, Captain. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. Oh, there it goes. Hold on, it's all in the way you hold your tongue. Oh yeah, gotta go gentle. Come on, get on there. If you get offended by this video, that's too fucking bad because you shouldn't be offended by this video just because I'm rubbing my hose. It doesn't make sense. How far do I have to go on this anyway? But more than that, great. Come on, baby. I know some of these are saying, you don't even have to do that, man. You're just overboard. Well, I am. I want to do this once and never do it again. <laughs> Get on there. Man, that's good enough. 
that's as far as we need to go, boys. So I can cut this with something. Scissors would be nice. Ready? Oh, those scissors are beautiful. Don't be jealous of my scissors now. There we go. So we're gonna slide her on just a little bit more because we're gonna put a clamp on it. So we'll get her down just far enough where it's past the clamp. Come on, baby. You don't have much further to go, girl. Get on there, you dirty bastard. You know, that's gonna do all right. Tape! Tape, I said. I said tape. Here it is, right where I left it. So give this a quick wrap around. There you go. Look at that, it's even got a blue insert. And then we'll flip the hose around and we'll give this a wrap around or a tape around. Might have to go twice on this one. Yeah, there we go, that's good. Okay, so there we go. So now this hose is ready to go on. Who wants to put it on? I do, I do. Friggin' right I do. How about you do? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do, I do? Friggin' yeah. You look at me, cause you can see what I'm doing up here. Yeah, you can. Okay, so how I'm gonna do this is I wanna go through here, like this. Oh, we better put the clamp on first. Like that. Then we wanna fold her into here and give her a push on here. Just like that, Jim. Exactly like that, actually. Actually, that can't get any better than that. Let me tell you what. I'm not gonna tell you nothing, but I'm gonna tell you what. That's for sure. Because that's what I do. There's the scissors I was looking for earlier. Where's my doodad now? You know what I mean by doodad? The fucking thing. You know, that doodad. Oh, God. It's got the other friggin' bit on it. It's gone. Just like my brain cells. Definitely gone. Oh, I bought these for my headers. Pro form. Header bolts, wedge lock. They're supposed to be really good. Leave your comments down below if you use them on yours. Leave your comments down below if you're even doing anything remotely close to what I'm friggin' doing. Hopefully you're not because it's not worth it. Well, it might be. I'll have to see when it starts. I'm like right waiting until the end to start this thing, as you see. I'd like to know what happened to my hand bomber. You know what, this clamp ain't gonna, this, this ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna end up marking my glass. That's my paint job, if anybody's wondering. My glass, eh? All right, so we can tighten this down. Maybe. There she goes. And get this nice and snugged up. Let me know in the comments below if you guys use stainless steel clamps and if they're any good for anything. And now this should fit perfectly back down here because I notched it, remember? Look at that, boys. Look at that notch job. Man, I wish that was not even showing. Wonder if I can move that. See if I can get that clamp to go underneath so I can swear it myself for the rest of my life. Can I get this through here? Oh, can I go through here? Oh, I can go through here. Let's get her down some further. Oh, there we go. Now let's clamp her. Nobody likes looking at clamps. I don't. I don't know how much I can get her on these clamps, so they're just cheapies. There we go. Feels pretty good. Now we can put this in here, which is two and a half fucking miles long, as you remember. There it is. Hold on to her. Oh, maybe not. I noticed the, oh, there it is. Have you seen, oh, no, there it's not. What, what, what is it? There it is. Where are you going? Get in there. I say get in there. Come on, baby. There it is. Did you look at that notch job? It looks factory. And now this hose should go up and onto here. And look how good that looks. It's way out of the way, nowhere near anything. So you can look at my engine and go, hey, wow, would you look at that? We should actually mount it somewhere so it's down like this even better. That'd be cool. We'll have to maybe think of some kind of bracketry for that. That's something I can definitely figure out for us. Leave your comments down below if you want to see that happen. Because I can do it. I know I can. Friggin' right I will. How can I not do that? What's this? Oh, it's a bolt. That will suck to get into. Oh, I wonder if I can go off that. That'd be kind of cool. We can do all sorts of cool little things right there. We could. Let me know in the comments what you would do there. Is this the right size? Nope. How about this one? Probably not. That's it. Give that a 
and then we'll give this a hurt. And now we need an open end, which is, doesn't matter how good my eyes are, these snap on sockets suck to fucking see. 14. Uh. Top dollar for snap on, and you can't read the goddamn things. If I could just go back in time, I told him to shove him. Right up his ass fucking hole. Go out to Harbor Freight or Princess Auto and get some cheapies. Oh yeah, this heater hose definitely gotta go like this. Um, I gotta figure this out, Captain. This is gonna bug me. Even if I go right to there. Should wait until the inner fender was back on. I could probably just mount it right to that, couldn't I? Don't dick with it. Over. Don't touch the heater hose until the wheel wells are back in. Sounds good. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? There we go. Looks good. See if I can tighten these up. They might be too big, but we're gonna try it. Oh, I should have been recording yesterday. You wouldn't believe what I did. I went and I put tranny fluid in my freaking power steering pump. So as you see down here, I had to blow it all out with the air. Oh my God, I couldn't believe I did that. I almost went to get the camera just to show you how stupid I was. It was a pretty dumb move. It really was, but it does happen, man. It happens to the best of us. I know I said I was gonna put a new rad in this truck, but I can't, not right now. We're gonna have to wait, cause I gotta get a drive shaft made now, which really sucks. Cause it's gonna be like 600 or 500 bucks or four or 500, I don't know. Could be enough anyway. Too much. Too much, Jim. There we go. Hoses are on. Bottom hoses we gotta do still. I'm hoping the clamps I got for the bottom ones aren't too big. I know the hose is bigger, but it might be all right. Let's try it. This one I might put on the electric one. Here we go. Ready? Friggin' right here. Why wouldn't you be? Holy, how you doing? It worked, by golly. Let's bend this back though so we don't poke our fingers off of it. Okay, next, top one. Where is it? What do I do with it? Anybody? I lost it. How, how, how did I lose it? Oh, it's on the floor. Stunk her up a little bit. Pull this off, slide her on. Oh, I went too much. There it is. Slide her on. Line it up. Can't get two hands down at once. There we go. Okay, now we did a few things. We've done pretty good today. I'm not gonna go much further because like I said, I like to take my time and I still got two more months before summer's here. Let's just go over a few things together. We got the feed part of the heater in. Clamps are tight. We got the upper rad hose in, clamps are tight. We got the lower rad hose in, clamps are tight. We got the header bolts in and tight. We've got the tranny lines tight. Tranny lines on the rad tight are tight except for one, so we can blow the air out of it. We got a fuel line. We got to bleed the fuel line or run it through. So that one should be loose as well. No, I tightened it, so we got to unloosen that one. Blow that through. This is tight. That is tight. This is tight. That's tight. So yeah, we're pretty much there. We can put the plugs in anytime and then we can run the wires. But I'm gonna wait to put that coolant line on first before we run the wires because that way I can get to it. So that's yeah, that's about all I'm gonna do today. So leave me in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this masterpiece and let me know what you would do different if you do anything different. So I'm glad you're all here. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification and we'll see you on the next one.